I moved to LA from a small town in New Hampshire and I didn't I didn't know much about the city other than the Hollywood and celebrities and and movies but looking back I was I was pretty naive coming out here I had no idea how the city would change me you know affect me I had no idea that the city would make me sick <sighs> my name is Brandon Len and I am diagnosed with LA tools disease I noticed something was wrong when he started wearing tank tops. So in here is my dope tank tops. Uh, just all different kinds. I've probably gotten 15 since I've been out here. Uh, I'll wear them to anything. I mean, class, the beach, Tinder dates. Uh, this one's cool. Um, yeah, and if I'm not if I'm not wearing my tanks, I'm wearing my V-necks, which actually this one's. They're usually much deeper. I usually wear deeper ones, but that one's still dope. I, I come in and he was watching the war. He was watching the Warriors game, and what was weird is that he was rooting for them. And I mean, I, I've known him for a while. We've been around the block a few times. He's from New Hampshire. The Warriors aren't his team. So I said, uh, you know, Lenny, Lenny, I didn't know, you, I didn't know you liked them. And he, he kind of gave me this strange look, and he said, you know, I'm in LA now, man. I can, I can root for whoever's good. I'd probably say. After a few weeks of, of living out here uh, was when I became addicted to marijuana. I, I'd probably say I talk about weed at least four or five times a day. Um, and I probably Snapchat me uh, smoking probably three times a day. This was, this was the first shop I bought at when I came out here. I picked up, uh, I think it was like five and a half ounces for myself. Yeah, this is where I get most of my hybrids. It's like more of a smooth, creative high, like for when I write my scripts. Honestly, it got so bad we couldn't go. We couldn't go anywhere with them anymore. It was, you know, every smoke shop he had to stop in and get something. And say, you know, now I want to go check out the bombs. It's like you already have four. Of them. I caption all my my Instagram pictures with uh, with something to do with LA. Uh, actually, I have a. Uh, I have a whole list on my phone of like two two pack quotes and Snoop Loop quotes. Just yeah, you can see. I mean, they're just for future Instagram pictures. It's extremely challenging living with somebody with LA Tools disease. Um, I mean, the, the new thing now is the GoPros. You GoPros everything. He'll be you know drinking liquor. He'll be drinking orange juice. You know whatever. It doesn't matter. I think the last straw for me was when he started throwing up the West Coast sign in pictures. That's when I had to check him into rehab. Could you show us the West Coast sign, please? Oh, yeah, I just think it's like that. Towards the camera? Oh, sorry, yeah. It's not gonna be easy, but I can feel myself getting better every day. Uh, I mean, this, this week I only wore tank tops I think four days and um, well the, the v-necks are always going to be a part of my life so that's that's not going anywhere. LA tools disease is an ugly thing. Watching a friend slowly become a tool and talk about a city so much is just heartbreaking. But it can be cured. Rehab has been good. Yeah, rehab's been good. Um, there's just, you know, there's always those days where you you want to throw on the tank and grab the longboard and, and head to the beach so you can you can flaunt your parents' wealth in front of girls. But it has given me a lot of time for self-reflection, um, and it, it, it's given me time for my rhyme game. L.A. is is such a big influence on uh, hip hop culture that it inspired me to to write my own lyrics. City of it. Right. No, can I can I stand up for this? Because I don't think it's gonna. It won't. If I'm not standing, I'm not gonna be able to to rhyme. To rhyme. City of angels, where dudes die every day. Bullets come from different angles. We need a, a leader of men. 
uh, there was Tupac, Kendrick, and now there's Brandon Len. So, so it would sound a lot. It would sound a lot better with the beat. But what'd you think? He may be a big tool, but he's my tool. Like a Phillips head screwdriver or a sliding wrench, bolt cutters even, or just kitchen shears. My honest advice to you guys, you know, you know somebody who's starting to show early symptoms of uh, LA Tools disease is, you know, don't wait until the V-neck drops down to their belly button. Get, get help as soon as you can. My name is Brandon Len, and I'm going to battle and beat LA Tools disease.